Yo, 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 what up, YouTube EX? It's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabber Hacker, otherwise known as only using me, Tom Hawk. Some of you guys may know me as Easy. Like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So today I'm going to be telling you how to get Bigsby and get um, the new touch wiz for the Samsung Galaxy S8 onto your um, Android phone. Now, this is something that you need to listen to very quickly. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can actually skip over this if you don't want to hear this, but it's very important for you to listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you own a Samsung Galaxy uh, S7 Edge, you also might want to listen to this because there is a little bit of conflicts that happen with that phone also. If you also own a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, that's basically for this video. If you own any other phone like the Samsung Galaxy S6, um, Samsung Galaxy S7, uh, Samsung Galaxy S5, I believe. I, I'm not sure how far, far back it goes. But if you install, like a lot of these um, YouTube reviews that put up software and stuff, the software package that they have is actually from the Galaxy S8. Now, the reason why is for that, the Galaxy S8 is considered as a regular G series, not the Plus series. So, the uh, G series is basically the phones without the edge curve on t on towards it. Even though the S8 does have an edge on the phone, it's not considered as a G series part towards the phone. The um, edge versions, anything that says edge on it or plus, is considered as an edge version. But there's also one thing when it comes, uh, you get a conflict when it comes towards the S7 Edge. Because the S7 Edge is actually part of the G series towards when it comes towards the pluses. I'm sorry if I might be confusing you. But inside the um, codes and a lot of the um, packagings inside the APKs, there is a lot of software that's actually on it that tells you what can be used and what can't be used. Now, the S8 can install all its software to the regular G series. So that's like the the a regular like if you had the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Samsung Galaxy S4, the Samsung Galaxy S5, Samsung Galaxy S6, those phones do not have the curved features on it like my Note. Because my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is the same size as my Note 3, as you can see right here, and yes this is a Note 3. As you can see here's my pen right there. Um, because this is a plus series, it's actually different when it comes to the software. So to actually get big speed and actually get the um, TouchWiz, the S8 um, TouchWiz on it, you will actually need to get software from an S8 Plus to run on the Samsung Galaxy uh, 6 Edge Plus or the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. But to tell you the truth, the 6 Edge Plus, um, the 6 Edge um, Plus, sorry, um, it's actually bigger than the 7, the S7, the S7 Edge, and it's actually bigger than the S8 because it's a Plus series. The um, S6 Edge Plus is actually the, about the same size of the Samsung Galaxy S, um, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, but it's about a few um, millimeters smaller um, when it comes towards the actual phone size. That's why it's with the situation. My phone, I do have big speed and stuff running on it. As you can see, here's my phone. If I touch it, go to the right. There's my big speed sitting right there. As you can see right there, it says hello big speed. Um, a lot of the features don't work on it, like saying hello big speed is not gonna work on it because there's software that needs to be on this thing to actually work. I do have the Note 8 TouchWiz, so if I swipe down, it automatically pops up. If I swipe up, it goes up like this. I do have it, so if I hold the touch screen right here, you notice I have all the um, Note 8 uh, settings, so if I click home, I do have all this. As you can see, my TouchWiz is 6 version, 6.1.50.1. Um, That's the Note 8 stuff. So um, basically, just to um, get all this stuff installed, let's just swipe up real quick. Just swipe over to my files, because um, we're going to need to go inside the settings right here. So if you try to install it, this is the reason why I was telling you when I was saying about the beginning towards this thing. If I go to download right now, um, here's all the Note 8 uh, wallpapers and stuff right here. But I want to get into a particular folder. Um, let's go to downloads. I need to get into my folder that I created that has all my um, all the stuff on it that I have. That's that. That's not actually my folder. 
So let me go back out. I'm gonna have to go into another um folder and grab it. Um just bear me a second, let me just move to the side. I just need to grab a different folder to open up my um APK files. I need to go to my folder. And I just need to find that I should actually store this up on my phone before doing this video. Here it is, my file management. So as you can see right here, I have a folder file right here with my folder. As you can see it says Galaxy S um eight stock wallpaper. As you can see always on display. Now if you try to install this right now, you're gonna get that conflict thing. Same thing like with Bigsby or TouchWiz. When you try to install it, you're gonna go like this, then you're gonna get this conflict error right there. When you try to install Bigsby or the um the Note 8, well not the Note 8, the S8 touch um touch whiz. So um that's what some of the problems is. If you look at the bottom right there, it says Galaxy Note 8 launch. So basically what I had to do is I had to rename it. Um, do everything like that and let you see that it's actually the note version right there So if I click on it, I can install it with no problem And as you can see it's done If I go back up, you notice I have multiple stuff right here Bigsby home click install now, a lot of you guys, when y'all try to install this, you might not be able to install it because you're going to get that error message saying that it's a conflict. That's the reason why I said what I said. As you can see, it's on right here. When I click Home, I'm going to get a little bit of the stuff right there, and boom, it's installed right there. Now, I already pre-programmed everything. Now, a lot of these guys, which I'm going to mention this right now to you guys, a lot of these guys that's doing these videos on here is Indian. And they're not going to give you the full information of what you need to know of how to actually install this. Basically, all these guys is doing is taking the videos that they see on YouTube. They're not giving you no direct information. They're posting it online, not knowing and not um, really giving a crap what they're doing because they're basically doing it just for views. They're not helping you. When you contact them by um, sending them a comment, they never respond to you because they can't help you because the only thing they did was look for a video I've been dealing with phones for a very long time you know my videos you seen how I used to um uh, uh, switch up my phones without actually hacking it or rooting it and stuff like that and be able to put regular ROMs and stuff on it even from rooting and stuff like that I've been doing this for years I've been messing with iPhones for years um, since the first iPhone came out with jailbreaking that's why one of my names at the beginning of my video is called iPod jailbreak hacker if you look on my Dad Easy account, which is this right now, look at all the jailbreaks and hacks and stuff I did. I do do with themes with Big Boss Repo and all that stuff like that. I do have my own thing that I do putting towards the jailbreaks and stuff like that. When it comes towards the source codes, I do look inside the source codes and find out exactly what's going on with coding. Um, I do make my own personal apps that I'm trying to release on the Android Store and on iOS. So when it comes towards looking towards the stuff that's dealing with it, um, if you need help, Contact me and I try to help you with the best I can. Just tell me with the phone that you use. Now it doesn't matter which the version, it doesn't matter if you're using Verizon, T Mobile, ATT Sprint, it doesn't matter which phone carry you have, as long as you have a Pacific phone, it does not matter what name company it is, it doesn't matter what version it is, it doesn't matter if it's international, it doesn't matter if it's a GSM, CDMA, it does not matter what it is. It's the only thing you have to worry about is the phone that you have because it's the phone is with providing your software so if you have problems trying to install this i'm gonna put everything on mega upload i'm gonna put everything in the description i'm gonna give you all the files you need i'm gonna put extra files inside of it so if you somebody that like the root um the files is in there for your root to get on um, bixby on um, voice activation to work with it um i'm gonna just put everything in it you're gonna get the wallpapers for the note 8 wallpapers you're gonna get the um touch for from the note 8 um what is it the note 8 plus uh um, touch ways you want to get Bigsby um, which is going to be Bigsby home um, you're going to get all that good stuff inside of it so you can actually get this working on your phone that's why I said it's important for you to watch the beginning part of the video because it is going to explain to you how to get everything working you can actually get the icons off of the um, on the Google store that's not part of it you can set up your icons the way how it is with it um, I'm going to try to get the actual Note 8 uh, or S8 um, icons if I can get a chance to get my hands on it but I'm going to be putting my uh, a donation up on there if y'all want me to start 
doing more stuff for the, for you guys to give you more stuff. Um, you can donate. That'll help me buy a um S8. But tell you the truth, um, I personally like the S um the Six Edge Plus, um, because it's, I just like the real estate because it's more screen like that on the phone for me. But if you want me to um give y'all more software to hack the stuff off there, rip files off and turn stuff into APKs, sign and all that stuff. I mean y'all can do um donation. I'll put it on my PayPal up there and y'all can donate to it. I can go out and start actually try to extract files and stuff out of it so I can put it up on the page for you guys. So it's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabber Hacker only use me time marks. Remember live it, love it, game it, peace and deuces and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Make sure you download everything. Make sure you hit that on button to subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you hit that tab, that notification, to join the notif notification squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Deuces. Whoa. Holla.